Hi, my name is Kelly Hood and I'm a cybersecurity engineer with Optic Cyber Solutions. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about cybersecurity risk. What is it? How is it different than other business risk? And why do we need to consider it separate? So I wanted to start off by level setting on some terminology. What, what is risk itself? So we all know that uh, it's, it's looking at basically the uncertainty of something and how that would affect our, in this case, our organization, our business. So it could be a potential loss or a potential gain, you know, it could be good or bad, but basically we're looking at what is the, the likelihood or impact of something happening to affect our organization. And specifically regarding cybersecurity, we're looking of how that uncertainty affects the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of our systems, our data, the information we're handling, and basically how we're, how we're operating our business. So it's really important to break this down. We see a lot of organizations that will have cybersecurity risk as one line item on their organizational risk register, which is often a great place to start, but it really doesn't handle the nuances of, you know, what is that, what does that risk mean to you? Why are we worried about it? Is it positive risk? Is it negative risk? Is it, um, you know, is it focused on, you know, loss of data? Is it focused on, on availability of systems? There's just so many things that can fit into that, that one line item. And that's what I wanted to get into a little bit today to kind of break that down. Think about what is cybersecurity risk really? Why do we care? And then what do we do about it? So how do risks come about? In order to have risk, we need to have a few things. And the first one is a threat. So a threat is something that is going to act upon something you're concerned about. So it could be a, you know, a person, it could be a thing, but it's something, it's some type of you know, threat actor that will have an effect on your organization. It could be an internal staff member, it could be an external adversary. Um, there's a lot of different uh, there's a lot of different possibilities out there, but for this example, we're just going to think about a tornado. That there, we, we have a threat that anybody, um, there could be a tornado that would come through and that might have some kind of impact on your facility. So the next important piece is a vulnerability. You have to have something for that threat to act on. So in that case, that is the vulnerability. So here we have our example of in our office, we have a, a desk here that's looking a little full, maybe a little messy, where we've got some papers packed, uh, to piled up on that desk. We see some sticky notes, some glasses, a cup of coffee. Um, so we've got a lot of things that are sitting out there and, and they might you know, be important papers. They might be just, you know, a sticky note with your lunch on it, but there's a lot of, there could be a potential vulnerability here based on all of that information sitting out on your desk. So that's what we're going to consider as our vulnerability. All of these, um, you know, potentially sensitive documents sitting out in the open in your office. So how we get to the risk then is that we look at when we look at the threat and the vulnerability coming together, that tornado coming through, you know, maybe have it, you know, uh, coming through and hitting your building, all of those papers are going to go blowing down the street. And if those are sensitive information, if they've got, you know, company proprietary information or healthcare information and they're blowing down the street, then that creates a risk for your organization. And that's what would need to be evaluated. So that's what we really want to think about when we think about risk is what is that? threat? What is that thing that's going to act on your vulnerability, that, that um, weakness, that thing that could be exploited to create the risk? But how do we know what's risky for us? And this is what's really tricky. So in the previous example, we had our tornado blowing through the office. Um, but really what's so important for organizations to do is to stop and think, do we care about the do we do we care about the tornado? Do we live in an area where tornadoes are common? Do we have sensitive information? Uh, do we use paper anymore, or is everything just in the cloud? Um, so it's important to think through you know what what we're doing here. So we've got an, I've got an example here as kind of an exercise of a, a tire. So I can look at this tire and see that it is pretty bald, that it doesn't have a lot of tread, and that may or may not be a problem. If that tire is on your car and you drive your kids around in that car, you may, you may be concerned about that because it may not be very safe, especially if you're driving down a snowy road um, or you may be in the rain or have something where you really want to have that traction. However, if that tire is on a tire swing, it may be perfectly fine for your kids to play on, in which case you don't have any or you may have very low risk or it may be come about in another way such as if that tire swing is actually hanging over a cliff, in which case we don't want any kids playing on that tire swing. So really it's just important to think through in this example of how something that might 
immediately think we might think of as very risky or very problematic, such as a balding tire, used in different contexts, it may have different impact or a different likelihood of having an effect for our, for our organizations. And that's what I really wanted to focus on here on this slide, is that we really have to consider risk in context. We want to look for commonalities across our organizations, knowing that everybody really is going to have some level or some type of cybersecurity risk, but they're all going to be slightly different. Everybody's going to have a different appetite for risk. Everyone's going to care a little bit differently about their availability, the integrity, the confidentiality, how they're going to prioritize those things, and what's most important to your business and how you operate. Um, but really, that's why we have to break it down and why having cybersecurity as one line item on a risk register or as a part of a conversation can be very misleading because there might be very high risk. But if we don't fully understand why we have that risk or what to attribute it to or what what uh, um, threats and vulnerabilities it may be exploiting, it's much harder to figure out what to do about that. So that's why I really need to think, you know, it's the risk is not the tornado. We're not worried about the tornado coming through necessarily, but we are potentially worried about that sensitive information blowing down the street. And so we really need to think about the, the so what, what are we really worried about and how to break that down. And then finally, we have a process here that we use at Optic um, to help re reduce the risk and build resilience in our organization that's um, very high level, but just the process we've been talking through here where we want to identify what those critical assets and data are. What do we care about? What do we want to start with? And then we need to understand those vulnerabilities and threats. You know, what could affect those critical assets that we're concerned with? Then after that, we can measure the likelihood and impact of exploit to figure out, you know, how, how worried we should be and then we can use that to classify our risk based on the severity to build a plan to ultimately reduce that risk and build resilience. So really, it's, it's a simple process, but we just need to take the time to slow down, break it down, and think through what are our risks? Is it more than one thing? Are we focused on different areas? And, and how do we want to prioritize that moving forward? So I hope this has helped you get a basic understanding of cybersecurity risk, how that relates to your business, and why it's so important to think through what that really means and how to, how to uh, manage that risk moving forward. We do have a few resources here on our website on OpticCyberSolutions.com. Um, we also have a few industry resources I've included here, and we're planning to put out a few more videos over the next few months where we'll expand on this a little bit more, talking more about risk appetite and thresholds and how to calculate and manage your risk. Um, but I hope this has been helpful to you. And please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or let me know if you have any other topics you'd like us to discuss. Thank you.